This tutorial shows you how to use Amazon Athena to audit CloudTrail logs saved in an S3 bucket. Our project consists of three steps. To implement the project in this video, please ensure the following prerequisites. Check out the video description if you need assistance with any of these prerequisites. First step. Create a trail. A trail saves your account activity to an S3 bucket. To ensure your data is protected, CloudTrail uses AWS KMS to encrypt CloudTrail data. Go to the AWS CloudTrail console, choose Trail, and create a trail. In this step, you just need to name your trail. The S3 bucket where Cloud Trail is gonna save data. And a KMS key. From now on, your account activity is logged in your S3 bucket. You can check it in your S3 bucket after a few days of using your account. Second step. Create an Athena table. An Athena table loads CloudTrail data from your S3 bucket so you can query it with standard SQL statements. Athena uses an S3 bucket to store query results. So, you need to create and configure an S3 bucket before using Athena for the first time. Then, head over to Cloud Trail and create an Athena table. Choose the S3 bucket storing your Cloud Trail data. To load Cloud Trail data, Athena maps the Cloud Trail log to columnar table structure. You can make changes in this mapping if you need. Last step. Query and cleanup. First off, sign into the Athena console and set up the query result bucket location if you are using Amazon Athena for the first time. Next. Query the table to see the structure and explore your data. This table is result of the mapping in the previous step. You can carry out your own analysis. If you want to delete the resources created in this video, start with the Athena table.
Then, delete your trail. And KMS key. Notice you cannot delete a KMS key directly. First you disable it. Then, you schedule the key deletion. Finally empty and delete your S3 buckets.